What up? It's your boy King Dow 225 coming at you with another reactionary video. And today, Black Twitter is on a shit again. Of course, you know, strumming through my Twitter timeline. Follow me if you want. Man, I come across the controversial shit that Sage still said in a interview with Jake Cutler on his podcast. Good old boy Jay. You don't know what good old boy mean. You know, you know what it mean. So she on this goddamn podcast just didn't got black people hot heated. First, she was, I don't really want to speak on the vaccine. I'm not going to show a clip of what she said about the vaccine because that's a different story for a different day because I tend to agree with her. She said, you know, she ain't like how ESPN forced them to get vaccinated. They suspended her for it because she ended up with COVID anyway, right? But that's not the issue that pissed people off. I'm going to play this. I got three clips lined up for you. I'm going to play this clip, this first clip, and see to see what she said that pissed off the black community and black Twitter. Uh, when, when you fill out your census, census. And I'm, I'm like, wow, well, I don't know when the last time I filled out my census, census was, was. But yeah. if they make you choose a race, yeah. she's like, what are you going to put? I go, well, both. She's like, well, you can't. Yeah. She goes, well, what about Barack Obama, Obama chose black, black and he's biracial? biracial. I'm like, well, congratulations to the president. That's his thing. I think that's fascinating considering his black dad is nowhere to be found, but his white mom and grandma raised him. But hey, you do you. I'm going to do me. The black dad part. Oh, his black daddy wasn't around. <laughs> but if that's what he want to do. So people been roasting her ass for that comment. Like, different races. Like, I am Portuguese and my mom was, is Japanese. And my mom died and she wasn't around. So I guess they make me not Japanese either. They're like, this is just weird uh, explanation of, why she like I don't have no problem if you biracial you want to represent your biracialness that's fine with us it wasn't us that created this one drop rule it was white America that said if you got one drop of black in you then you black we didn't create that we didn't start that and yeah you probably got teased because you are prettier anybody who pretty get teased and bullied when they're younger that's just how it is but for you to say, oh, he not black because his black ass daddy ain't raising is real dismissive. They roast the fuck out you. Let's get to the next clip before I show you the roasting that she got. Like. Next clip is what? This is the other clip that pissed people off. Play toy. And, and put, put it on, on the guys, guys when, when we, we and again, again not saying anybody deserves anything. anything. Yes. yes. But we, we need to be responsible as women too, because we know what we're doing when we put certain things on and, and then return a certain text. text. Are you expect somebody's not gonna see you if you go to dinner with this guy? guy? Like, like that's, that's on us. us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um that's, that's so true. true. Yeah. Well, let's start over again because it is, it is, it is, it is. Here's, here's the thing, thing. there is a fine line, line. And, and I handled it. it. Like, like I didn't get any place because that's not my person was my personality then. then. I might now, now a little more. Yeah. Um, but, but I do, do think, think as women, women we need to be responsible as well. well. It isn't just, just on players and athletes and coaches to ask I agree. And I've had talks with young women who like would come in and they'd intern. Uh, with, with, with me, with, me, with our, our channel, channel, or, or just other women who reach out to me now. And, and I've said to them, a couple of them, they're like, well, would you look at my tape? Would you do this? And, I, and I've said, listen, I would love to, but the way that you present yourself is not something I want to be associated with. Yeah. So when you dress like that, yeah. I'm not saying you deserve the gross comments, but you know what you're doing when you're putting that out for them, too. Like, women are smart, so don't play coy and put it all on the guys when we... And again, and again, not, not saying anybody deserves anything. anything. Yes. But we, we need to be responsible. They were pissed off at her for that. I mean, since she's kind of right, but they were angry at the fact that she don't want to associate with them. So instead of you educating them and mentoring and teaching them how to be a proper class lady, you're like, fuck it, I just don't have nothing to do with your ghetto asses or your thought asses. 
See, that's what pisses people off. And now it's time to get to the roasting part. I'm going to play the first clip. See, this is this is what turned me off from Sage Steel a long time ago. I always said she had that old mammy house ninja energy. I couldn't really fuck with her. She wasn't Jamil Hill or Carrie Champion. Speaking of Jamila Hill and Carrie Champion, they roasting her ass. I wish I could show you the CNN clip. In fact, I'll leave a link in the description so you can go see how Carrie Champion basically like, man, I'll fight that bitch. Fuck her. She ain't said it like that, but she said it like that. You know what I'm saying? Let's get to the first clip of uh, why this is like 10 years ago. I'm like, man, this bitch really did that. Look at this shit. Oh, uh, bitch, you rest over there and let that man touch your hair. Like, he talk, I'm talking to you on some professional shit, and you on some dismissive. Can I touch your hair? Come on, every black person know how disrespectful that is to touch my hair. It's disrespectful to ask. Don't even look at my shit too long. Because you know in the old days, and slavery days, black white people used to rub people, black people have for good luck. As if we, we taking their luck away from them. So it, it's been within our history on how white people act around black people hair. It's disrespectful to us for this mammy to reach her ass over there. And this happened a long time. Like, man, no, nah, I can't fuck with her. No matter how attractive she is, how cute I think she is. No, fuck that. Where's your pride at? Maybe you don't have none. Maybe you don't have none. Yeah, I know you got a black father, but maybe he didn't really instill black pride in you that you need to know that. Nah, this not cool. This not cool. I love your hair. Do you have to hate your wife to win? Can I touch your hair? I'm like, can I feel? Oh, bitch, you rest over there and let that man touch your hair. Oh, I hate nigga smile. I hate a nigga smile, bro. Let me tell you what, what a nigga smile is. A nigga smile is when you uncomfortable or you being disrespected or you in trouble or anything negative and you out here smiling and cheesing to try to appease the person who is angry or mad at you. Like, don't, no, the whole make junk. No, don't smile. Don't show your teeth when shit like this happen. Now, let's get to continue the roasting session. Cause this is a, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna play a lot of shit. Cause I don't know what's gonna have music on it or not. Say still. Oh, well, let's hear this. You're the Candace Owens of ESPN. It's what? <laughs> Wait, Wait, what? Where did you read that? I forget, I forget, I forget where I read it, but I, 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 I never laugh. Uh, wow. I, I actually so, went home with Candace Owens. So, uh, so you the black sellout. Of course, good old homeboy, a good old boy. Mr. Uh, Jay Cutler. We know a good old homeboy. I mean, you know he like Candace Owens. MLK said it best about folks like say Steel. Negroes are human, not superhuman. Like all people, they have differing personalities, diverse financial interests, and varied aspirations. There are Negroes who will never fight for freedom. There are Negroes who seek profit for themselves alone from the struggle. There are even some Negroes who will go over to the other side. These facts should distress no one. Every minority and every people has its share of opportunists, traitors, freeloaders, and escapists. 
The hammer blows for discrimination, poverty, and segregation must wrap around, wrap and corrupt some. No one can pretend they that because a, a people may be oppressed, every individual member is virtuous and worthy. That's why we fuck with you, Martin Luther King. He said that from the from the back of the bus. <laughs> Not funny. Not funny. Come on, let's get some of these ropes in, bro. And ESPN removed her for a week. After you defeat Stacey Dash, the final boss is stay, stay still. Stay still with a snitch on Harriet Tubman. Who said vaccine mandates don't work? Stay still had the freedom to leave ESPN. So please spare us to make me sick now. Saying what makes me sick is. Yeah, I ain't talking about that. Fuck you, Jay Cutler. Never liked your ass. Trash ass football. What's player. the band for? <laughs> well, I got, I got my, my shot, shot today. today. So the, the fact, fact that I get to be on, on Jay, Jay Cutler's, Cutler's Uncut, Uncut podcast, podcast today, today like, this, this is, is such a momentous day in my life. life. <laughs> <laughs> Where, you don't even know. Um, yeah, you will see, you out here riding this white man dick. You around ESPN. I'm telling my grandkids that this is Save Still. Yep, Tommy Lawrence, Save Still. Well, I'm, I'm here to tell you, Sage, you ain't invited to the cookout no more. Sorry. You and this other fat fuck that's on my screen now, Jason Whitlock, who been banished to the fucking nether realms. You get your ass out of here, too. Let's see what he got to say. Say he's still bringing the smoke, Steve. What's, what's your what's, what's your, your take? Yeah, her nickname should be the chimney. She has so much smoke. I think it was George Orwell that once said, "In an age of the sea, telling the truth is a revolutionary act." Man, fuck y'all, bro. She wrong for that. Don't bring up Obama. Don't 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 dismiss. Young girls, if you're in mentorship, pro, uh, mentoring them, because remember, your ass was outside the fence at one point. Somebody had to open that goddamn gate to let you in. So don't be dismissive and don't be like, oh, look at this shit. Trust, say still, will continue to go through some things. They had one on clip on here. She talking that shit and got to play alimony to her ex husband. Sad to say, still has a long rep there for trying to blow up the careers of co anchors and other co workers. Mind of assassin, no aim, always wounded herself. But this stuff, especially the Obama part, is intolerable. They need to take her off the air immediately. Man, all she gonna do is get a job with goddamn Clay Travis and his old bullshit ass outkick shit that hired Jason Whitlock, fat ass. If y'all don't like me calling him fat ass, well, tell him to lose some fucking weight. On top of that, thinking former president shouldn't identify as black because he didn't have a relationship with his black father, Say still also thinks female journalists who dress a certain way know what you're doing when you're putting that outfit on. Bro, that sounds very patriarchal. That's what I always say. Women always, if if they say it behind every good man as a great woman, well, what's behind a shitty man? Anybody ever wonder that? Like, women, if their uh, patriarchy does exist, women are the ones who fucking help uphold the patriarchy. It be women, it be your own kind. Well, it's your boy King Dad 225. Hit that like and subscribe and become part of the kingdom. And man, let the roast of Sage Steel, Sage Mammy Steel, Big Winch, House Negro, sell out. Continue. Well, this is your boy King Dad 225. Hit that like and subscribe and become part of the kingdom.